What does the Bible say the color of the real Jews are? They are black unto the ground. What color are the Jews? They are black unto the ground. What color are the Jews? Black unto the ground. The Bible says the Jews are black. That's right. They hate that the prophets are black, teaching our people the truth. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. That is who we are. You know why men, black men, kill each other? Because they don't see each other as Jesus Christ. We are Israelites on the time of the Jews. Let's go to Hebrews uh, 7 and 14. Because they don't see each other as Jesus Christ. Because they don't see each other as Jesus So the Bible described Jesus Christ's head, meaning the hairs on his head and his hairs on his face, right? His beard, what color, what it was? White, like wool. It said what was white, like wool, meaning the texture of his hair was woolly. What people on earth have woolly textured hair? My brother sitting out in a chair. What people have woolly textured hair? Right here with the glasses, by the car, behind the car. Sitting down looking at the uh, pamphlet. White people have woolly textured hair. My brother right here. I'm asking you a question. I wanna engage with you, I wanna talk to you. White people have woolly textured hair. Huh? You said I said it, I didn't say it yet. White people have woolly textured hair. Who can answer that? Black people have woolly textured hair, right? Go ahead. As white as snow. And it was fully white, just like yours. So right now, you're fitting the exact image of Jesus Christ. Right. Go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And the Bible says Christ's eyes were as a flame of fire. If y'all can see over there, we got two images, right? The pole might be blocking it, but this image right here is what they portrayed in all the churches and everywhere, right? But this is not the real image of Christ. He's a so-called black man according to the Bible. We're gonna continue proving it. Go ahead. And his feet like unto fine bread. So if you look at somebody's feet, right? Their feet should be the same color as the rest of their body. So John is looking at the top of Christ's feet. He said it was what? And his feet like unto fine bread. So John said Christ's feet was like fine brass. What color is brass? Who can help us out? What color is brass? Dark brown, dark brown right? Now watch this. Let's see how dark it was. Read on. As if they burn in a furnace. As if what? They burn in a furnace. Hold on. You said fine brass is dark brown, but the Bible says Christ was so dark it looked, like, it looked like he was burned in a furnace. What color is that? Black. So right. what color is Christ? He's a black man according to the Holy Bible. That's, That's right. right. You understand that? Watch this. If Christ is a black man, what color is his people? What color is Christ's people if he's a black man? Is the rest of his people Caucasian? Is the rest of his people Chinese? What color? Let's show you. Let's get Jeremiah, matter of fact, uh, Hebrews 7 and 14 first. Let me show you something about a specific tribe in the Bible. All right? Let's get that. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. Watch this. Go ahead. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. Uh -huh. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So it's evidence in the Bible that Christ came from the tribe of Judah, right? Now, from there, let's go to Jeremiah 14 and two. Let's see what color the tribe of Judah is in the Bible. Watch this. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse two. Our brother, listen up, listen up on the bike. We're showing the true image of Christ in the Bible. He's not a white man that a lot of people think he is. He looked just like you. Watch this. 
Judah morning. So the Bible says Judah, Judah morning. The real Jews, right? Because Jew is short for Judah. The real Jews are in mourning. The real Jews are in the uh, side 34, of the streets in Charleston, South Carolina, living poor. Those are the Jews. Go ahead. Listen up, family. Listen up. We're going over color in the Bible, right? Watch this. Judah, morning, uh -huh. and the gates thereof language. The gates are the leaders of the tribe of Judah. Your Al Sharpness, Jesse Jacksons, right? Creflo Dollars, T.D. Jakes. All our leaders are lacking, the Bible says. The only time you will see one of these black leaders, right, come around in the hoods is whenever a funeral going on and they get paid. That's the only time you will see them, right? Go ahead. So they're not teaching us how to uh, go according to the Bible. They're not teaching us how to get out this lower state our people living in. All they want is a quick buck. Watch this. They are black unto the ground. Oh, hold on, hold on. What does the Bible say the color of the real Jews are? They are black unto the ground. What color are the Jews? They are black unto the ground. What color are the Jews? Black. Unto the ground. The Bible says the Jews are black. That's the right. They are black. Black, not white. You see that? What are we reading? The Bible. We're reading the Bible. The Bible says the real Jews are black unto the ground. Right. right. Now, you so-called Hispanics don't think that they, don't think that you are the loop too. Cause y'all are black as well. Right. Not just a light brown. So the Bible says the Jews are black unto the ground. Watch this. Go to uh, Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. What who knows about Solomon? Who knows about King Solomon in the Bible? One of the wisest men, wisest and richest men on the planet. Let me show you about King Solomon. Watch this. The Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Uh -huh. Listen good to what King Solomon described himself as. Watch this. I am black. Hold on, what King Solomon said? I am black. You hear that, sis? King Solomon, one of the wisest men in the Bible, right? He says, I am black. So, so what does that make Solomon? He's a so-called black man, right? Now, hold on. Sit. What's your name, sis? Jacqueline. Jacqueline? So, Jacqueline, if King Solomon, right? Read that one more time for us. Jacqueline. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Uh -huh. I am black, but comely. So King Solomon says, this is the Bible we're reading, right? King James Version Bible. Solomon says, I am black, but comely. I mean, I'm handsome, right? So if Solomon says he's black, but you call yourself black, then that means y'all should be the same people, right? But what was King Solomon's nationality, his race? You don't know? He was a Jew, right? He was an Israelite. Now, hold on. If Solomon was an Israelite and he said he's black and you black, so what should I make you? Nigerian. No, oh, since Jacqueline fell out the horse. Jacqueline fell out the horse. No, you are Israelite according to the Bible. That's Before we was called Nigerian or Ghanaian, right, or African-American black, we are Israelites. Right. I'm going to show you that in the Bible. Watch this. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15, right? Watch this. Go to, uh, yeah, verse 15. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God says it's going to happen in the future. If, our, if his people do not listen to his voice, right, which is the Bible, go ahead. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So this is right. When the Israelites came out of Egypt through the Red Sea, right? And they're in the wilderness now. You know about that, Jacqueline? Yes, sir. Perfect, perfect. We can work with you. We can work with something, <laughs> right? So this right after they came out of Egypt into the wilderness. And Moses told them, look, if y'all don't listen to God's voice, his Bible, what's going to happen? Go ahead. That all these curses. All these what? Curses. Now, Jacqueline, this curse is a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing, right? So listen good. Remember, the top part says, but it shall come to pass, meaning it's something that's going to happen in the future, right? Curses are going to come upon them for breaking his commandments, right? Watch this. 
that all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So how you doing, my brother? Right, you so doing, what we're showing, we got good, good. So what we're showing Jacqueline, right, is who we are in the Bible, okay? Right. So what's your name? Right. Larry. 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 All right, so Larry, Jacqueline, gotcha. My name is Yaanai, okay? So Yaanai. So what we're showing you is Moses told the 12 tribes of Israel, Judah, all the way down to Nephthali, right? And some of our people are scattered in the rest of Africa, all over the world, right? Through this uh, transatlantic slave trade, right? So God is speaking to the 12 tribes of Israel. He said, look, it's going to happen if y'all don't listen to God's voice. Curses, meaning bad things, are going to come upon y'all, right? If y'all look on the uh, first part of your flyer, right? The beginning of your flyer, we're about to read the same thing. Yeah, that part right there where it said truth about slavery. This is what we're about to read. Read uh, verse 48. So curses are going to come upon the Israelites. Watch one of the curses. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Uh -huh. Therefore shall thy serve thine enemies. So listen good, brother. God says, therefore, you Israelites, for breaking God's commandments, you're going to have to serve your enemies. Now, as black people, did we have to serve somebody? In slavery? Right. So my sister right here. In slavery, did we have to serve a people? Did the Hispanics have to serve a, a race of people? Okay. Every, every foreigner had to serve a race of people. Each culture had someone they had to serve as their king, as their master. Okay, now, what we're going to show you is a difference in that servitude. You got what you call indentured service, right? And you got what you call shadow slavery. Now, did white people, Chinese people, uh, Japanese people, did they ever go through chattel slavery? Were they, were they ever bought on slave ships, packed up like sardines? So what, what history, what white people went on slavery on slave ships? Slavery on slave ships. Yeah, we had like we had we had Caucasians or white folks as slaves. When I, I read that, so I didn't want to believe it, but it's true. So we had we had I say Nigerian um, or black or African American. So we have different cultures that we call ourselves because some of us are on different levels. Um, I myself, I'm still learning too. Some of the things okay. I actually didn't know. Okay. But it's the gospel truth. Um, it has to do with the graduation and the level. Um, just like if, for instance, example, um, and I just learned this by comprehending, by going to church not one Sunday, not two Sunday, but three times on one Sunday. So once you graduate from the, and we call ourselves black, or we call ourselves African Americans, or we call ourselves Nigerians, or we call ourselves uh, French, black people, or whatever we okay. want, because of the different languages that we speak. Um, but so you say you was graduating, right? Well, once you graduate, once you finish Bible school, uh -huh. or once you finish, you're supposed to go to another denomination. It's okay, not now. actually to, it's not actually told to us in black and white, but okay. but that's actually the way it's supposed to be. Okay, now let me show you something. Let me show you something. Verse forty-eight. Now, I'm going to show you something about the denomination, all right? Watch this. Verse 48. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Bring it out. Therefore shall thy serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So understand, God sent the enemies against the 12 tribes of Israel, right? Watch this. Go, go ahead. In hunger. So and in, in hunger, the 12 tribes of Israel in the future are going to have to serve a race of people for food. Go ahead. And in thirst. And thirst for something to drink. The 12 tribes of Israel in the future are going to have to serve a race of people. Go ahead. And in nakedness. For clothing, same thing. Go ahead. And in the want of all things. The want of all things. Guess what? The understanding of the Bible, we had to go to our enemies to get our understanding of it, right? But our enemies did not teach us the correct understanding of it. Right. The so-called white man, right? All these different type of uh, 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 seminary schools, right? They don't, they're not teaching us the correct understanding of the Bible. They're teaching us the same thing that a slave master taught that black slave that can read a little bit, 
to teach the other slaves that don't know how to read, right. right? A false understanding of what the Bible actually says, right? So, so guess what? You say you was graduating everything, right? You learn about your Nigerian, French, uh, black, and all like that. You haven't really graduated yet, uh, Jacqueline. Because what you're going to find out, you're not none of those. You're actually an Israelite according to the Bible. Right. That's right. right. Read the next part. Watch this. And those denominations going to touch in the second too. Watch this. And he. So the same enemy, the same white man that we had to serve in slavery, what he's going to do to the Israelites? Shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Hold on. He's going to do what? Put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. You see that? And if you look on your fire, got more images. It says he's going to put a yoke of iron on your neck. A yoke of iron on your neck. Did that happen to white people, Jacqueline? No. <laughs> thank, thank you, Larry. It did happen to white people, right? Did it happen to Chinese people? No. 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 This is only talking about black, Hispanic, and Native American people. That's right. Watch this. So what is that proving? That's proving that... Y'all are the Israelites according to the Bible. Right. Right. Y'all are the same people Moses is speaking to in the wilderness. The Those Old are your forefathers. In the Old Testament. Right, in the Old Testament, right? Watch this, keep on. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. So God's going to bring a nation against us from far, right? Where did the so-called white, we are on the west coast of Africa, right? Before we went on the slave ships. Where did the so-called white man came from? To, and, and, and came to the west coast of Africa to put us on the slave ships. Where did he come from? From Europe, from Europe right? Exactly. That's a that's a long way to Africa, the west coast of Africa. Watch this. Go ahead. I just actually spoke about that. The okay. Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, uh -huh. from the end of the earth, uh -huh. as swift as the eagle flies. Hold on. God going to give you clues now. God going to give you clues of what he's talking about. He said this nation is going to come against the black people on the west coast of Africa. And what is their symbol going to be? As swift as the eagle flyer. God says the symbol of this people that's going to come and enslave you is the eagle. What is the symbol of the United States of America? What is it? The bald eagle. Hey, my brother on fire right now. The God says the nation who's gonna come against you is the bald eagle, right? And now they have full authority and reign over y'all. They can drive a go-kart through your neighborhood. They can take a long uh, run, jog through your neighborhood, right? I know y'all mad seeing it. And they put y'all in these conditions and now they're jogging around your neighborhood like it's peachy. Hey. Free. A nation whose tongue Thou shalt not understand. Because we, we didn't understand their language. We spoke Hebrew. Go right. ahead. A, a nation of fierce countenance. This is a nation of fierce countenance. They took the men, women, and children, put them on slave ships, packed up in chains like sardines, right? This is what the Bible's saying. We're reading the Bible. Go ahead. We'll, which shall not regard the person of the old. They didn't care about the old of our people. Go ahead nor show favor to the young. And when we got over here on this, off, off the slave ships, right? We had to pick their cotton, right? And they had children, little eight-year-olds, seven-year-olds, picking cotton all day long, right? Breaking their backs. They got the old people actually, breaking uh, their just, backs. I just actually bought an, um, an oil uh -huh. painting of, um, of slavery picking cotton. Yeah. So I, I'm actually um, a, a, um, collecting some of those pieces and stuff like that. And okay. I, I just recently bought mine. I just recently bought mine, and okay. I um I actually um started collecting rare um, okay. dollar bills, like the two dollar bills, uh -huh. and I kind of connected mine because it has foreign, it has foreign money connected to it. So I just okay. I just recently started doing it. So okay. Yeah, right. So, so that's funny that you should preach about that because I showed you have that. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. 
purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.